Hello guys, Christian here. Today I will show you two great tools, iMachining and Volumil. iMachining comes from SolidCam, Volumil comes from Camors. Of course, this is another comparison test between two Cam software, SolidCam versus Camors. As you may know, I will not talk here about the prices of these tools. I just want to show you all the default functions in order for you to decide which is the best. From the beginning, I will tell you these are two great tools. Use it because you will save a lot of programming time. iMachining and Volumil uses a calculated feed and speeds according to the machine parameters, according to the material and the all flute length of the tool. And of course, a morphing toolpath calculated and generated automatically by the software. So, of course, when you are searching about SolidCam on the internet, you will see SolidCam together with iMachining. iMachining is a great tool with, inside SolidCam. I choose for this test a simple part, a 2.5 axis part with some pockets. We will cover only the roughing of this pocket, so I create a new milling part in SolidCam. I define the CNC machine, the coordinate system. Let's define the coordinate system. Okay. And now define, of course, the levels and the stock. And define on Z plus zero value. And now everything is ready for machining this part. In SolidCam, you will have the ability to use I machining both from 2.5 axis part and 3 axis part. So I will choose 2D I machining. And first of all, when you are using I machining, you have the you need to define the parameters of the machine. In SolidCam I machining 2D, you have already defined here two machine Haas and Hermle. For I will use the first one, Haas. It is very important for defining the spindle speed, the maximum spindle speed, the maximum feed weight, and the other parameters. And of course, select the material and check all the auto, auto options because I want iMachining to calculate automatically the feed and speeds for me. Then finish, the geometry is defined, this pocket. And for the tool, let's choose an end mill tool with diameter 12, float length, shoulder length, Cutting length, number of flutes, two. The levels, we will not modify anything here. We will leave the default values, default values. And very important, when you are working in iMachining, you will have this technology with that, which will calculate automatically for you the step down and the feed and speed. So right now, for this pocket using this tool, you will have a step stepping down like 18 millimeters on the Z direction using this feed and speeds. You will have also the ability to modify the machining level, let's say for conservative to aggressive using this slider. All the other options right now for this test is not important. Of course, in the in the dashboard of the I machining you will also have the machining level, the aggressive machining level using this slider, the spiral controls morphing efficiency using also this slider. But let's hit calculate and let's take a look at the toolpad. So as you can see I have here a good toolpad, a morphing toolpad an entry in spiral 
two passes on the or two step down on the z direction and this is the morphing toolpath of i machining let's try a simulation and just look at the toolpath from i machining let's try one more time So first of all, a tool makes a spiral entry and then move to the walls of the pocket using this morphing spiral. I use for eye machining the default values. The only problem is for this eye machining, these red lines, which are rapid moves. So I need to define some values for these, uh, these moves because in this case, uh, we will have a, a a crash on the machine so i will go to i will edit again the the i machine roughing operation and i i have here in pocket position z clearance let's put five millimeter then calculate again so right now i have I retract as you can see and then moves to the other the other morph okay let's calculate and then simulate again solid verify and then this spiral on the entry and then moving to the walls using the so let's this is i machining from solid calm let's take a look also at the time the estimated machining time it's somewhere on six minutes and then we will go and do the same tool the same part, sorry, in camera. So, from solid cam I machining, this simple pocket, I think you will have now all the parameters you need to define an I machining operation. So, let's move forward to cameras. Okay, so now I open the part in cameras. Let's define the machine with the maximum feed rate and ma maximum spindle speed like in solid cam the tool crib is already defined the post the stock manager i will define an alu aluminum alloy and on the z direction i will have zero allowance let's define a new mill par setup very easily new 2.5 axis feature pockets and condition here so right now i have a pocket defined let's def define a new roughing operation for this pocket using the same tool diameter 12 flute length it's i think 24 it's 30 and 80 to be exactly the same like in solid cam and for the roughing operation at the pattern you can choose volume so right now you will have two windows very important in volume next to volume click on this button you will have the default values volume settings floor clearance entry length ramp angle high feed rate if you need a full entry spiral another options if you want to override the the smoothing radius the if you want to enforce a minimum feed rate here you can override the side mill step over if you need to put uh, a user defined entry parameters you will check this 
these uh, options I will click OK and of course inside KMOS you will, you will have a Volumil Technology Expert which will help you choose the right feed and speed so just click on Volumil Technology Expert the material it's coming from the stock manager the harness you will define if you want the geometry of the tool it's already defined here the coating you can choose it the part holding the machine taper the maximum rpm and feed rate it's already from the technology database where the machine is defined so right now you have a recommendation with using this slider you can use a conservative um, feed and speeds and selected feed and speeds and an aggressive one i will choose the selected one so right now you will have the i-machining feeds and speeds and right now for the same tool volumil will choose for you this rpm and this is the feed for the same tool much bigger than i machining and i will have a lead-in feed rate define half of the x y feed rate and click ok so let's generate the toolpad and take a look at the volumil toolpad the step over the stepping down it's already calculated it's here the step over it's already calculated for you and in volumil technology expect here is the value of for step over and the value for depth of cut so let's have a simulation for this operation the same entry in spiral and then volumil will use the same step over moving towards the wall of the pockets and using as you can see a bigger value for the feeds and speeds only using the default values you can also choose in i machining bigger values as you if you remember the machine level also in in volume you will have the slider to move toward the aggressive feed and speed and of course let's take a look at what it is very important for everybody the estimating machining time six minutes in i machining here is the time in volume in real machining process this time let's say you will have to multiply by 25 percent also in i machining and also in volume be careful because nobody will tell you this but this this is an estimating machining time both in i machining and both in volume so right now you have a simple part i machining volume right now I think you will have all the informations you need in order for you to decide which is better. So, thank you for watching. Until the next test, see you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Bye bye.